Rockstar Dad here. So I'm going to do a little reaction video to this new Guns N' Roses music video. Here we go. Saving the chorus, cheeky. Here it comes, come on, hit me. Okay, so let's stop it there. So, introduction, brilliant, loved it straight in with the vocals, so no messing about, not much of an intro. Um, so we don't get that big riff intro. A lot of Guns N' Roses stuff on the Use Your, Your Illusion albums was piano based later on, on the album, which they're still on that kind of trip with this, which is cool. I love the chorus. I love this octave singing, you've got the low axle thing with the high axle thing. His voice is on fire on this recording. We'll come to that in a wee minute. Um, the guitars, the drums sound great. The actual recording sounds brilliant, really, really punchy. And they're obviously singing about this new fan base that they've probably got now that we're all a bit older, us guys that got Guns N' Roses the first time round. We are 50 years old, right? We're all dinosaurs now. Um, so yeah, I love it so far. I'm not sure about that guitar break after that first chorus. Um, I like the idea that they save the chorus until two verses, then give you the chorus, and they doubled up that second bridge. That was nice. So you have to wait. You get the prize of that, that chorus eventually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that guitar solo. I'm not sure harmonically it works. I'd need to re-listen to it again. Maybe I missed it the first time. It wasn't instant, that's all. Doesn't need to be instant, but that wasn't instant for me. Okay, let's carry on. box. It's almost like an admission from Axel with the words. 
that he's, like I said, he's been harbouring this hate, that he's been ignoring certain people. I don't know if it's fans that he's been ignoring and he's realised, wait a minute, other people like my music as well and different elements of it, which is cool. We're all humans. We're all on this planet together. Yeah, let's catch this last chorus. girl in the band <laughs> I know they had some backing singers at one point when they did the Use Your Illusion albums and there was two backing singers that they had for the live shows and they did the brass thing as well I wasn't sure about that, I liked Guns N' Roses the punky edge but with this nice melodic stuff as well, I need to find out who the girls are, what's she doing, can't hear any girl, girls on the recording okay Gymnastics from Slash, yes. <laughs> I thought he was going to do that hold the note on as long as I possibly can thing. The old uh, don't cry. I love it, I like it. It sounds more like um, maybe one of the songs that might not have appeared on the Chinese democracy record. Is it Appetite for Destruction? No. Um, is it Use Your Illusion? Even mm, slightly, if we've got the piano in there. I like the choruses. I think there's more in there for Guns N' Roses. It's like, I want them to do a whole new album. Like, but to, don't just go and write 20 songs, man. Go and write 50 songs. Pick the best 10, and then I think we'll get some class stuff out of Guns N' Roses again. I know a lot of people over the summer um, and over the last couple of years, they've been listening to Axel's voice and everybody, including myself, everybody's going, what's going on, man? What's what's happening there? And I don't know, I've got my own kind of theory about it. I'll just go into a little bit of, of um, information for you guys that don't know anything about singing. There's two different voices they call when you sing. Well, there can be three or four, but there's two main ones. There's your chest voice, la la la, and your head voice, la la la. And then there's your mixed voice, yeah, when you, <coughs> not warmed up. But when you mix them both together, Axel's definitely singing in his head voice at the moment. It sounds like his voice is quite damaged as well. It sounds like, I've heard a couple of videos where it sounds like he's kind of trying to do the mix thing when you mix both voices together. That's his voice when you hear it on the on this record when he's singing high and when you hear the old Guns N' Roses records, that's a really um, controlled mix voice, a high mix voice. It's not falsetto, it's not head voice, it's a mix. You're bringing up some of this chest and mixing it in, which is quite hard to manipulate your vocal cords to do that. Some vocalists um, find it very easy to do. Other vocalists like myself, I, you know, I can do it, but sometimes it's, it's hard for me to do, especially if my throat is tired. I don't know whether he's doing it because he's got to keep the whole tour up. If you sing in that mixed voice every single night and you're not drinking enough water and, and maybe as you're getting older, um, you know, your health isn't the same as it was, you're not as energetic, it's hard to keep that up, especially every single night if you're on a tour. So he might have made the decision, I'm, I'm going to sing this in my head voice. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are slagging him off. You can't kind of slag people off because the whole thing with musicians is that the show must go on. No matter what happens, you got to play the gig. Right? Even if it's not quite right, the gig has got to happen. So I don't know. It, it might not have been great for um, the press. If you listen to the ACDC shows that Axel did, his voice is on fire, his voice is old Axel. But for some reason, these Guns N' Roses shows, he's singing in his head voice, which I don't know. The tuning's not quite there on some of the gigs. But again, he's, he's not used to singing the whole gig in head voice, so... That's, that's that's like playing a different guitar, a, a different instrument almost, and, and try to learn the techniques and the skill to go with that. So I'm still a Guns N' Roses fan. I still love listening to those old records. 
Um, Slash is one of my favourite guitarists. Just his whole kind of demeanour on the stage, the whole character he's built up around himself. He's a phenomenal guitar player. I love the band. This new record, it's all right. I'll listen again. Um, like I said, I love the chorus. I'm not sure about that guitar break. I didn't quite get some of the chords it went to. It was, it was quite funky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next one. Take it easy. Peace.